Thank you. My name is Junko Tanaka. I'm from Hiroshima University. You listen to various researchers. Researchers are always thinking about why things happen, and we are always very happy and the very much driven. And today I'd like to speak about epidemiology. So the reason why I am in this field is to understand what is taking place in the population of humans and try to understand the, what is taking place and what have to what has to be done. So I have been in this field in the last 10 years or more. So today I'd like to speak about the epidemiological study that have been making a major contribution in the eradication, eradication of viral hepatitis and prevention of liver cancer. There are five, the, the hepatitis, viral hepatitis, A, B, C, D, and E. And this can be divided into two areas. One is from the oral infection, the other is hematological infection. When I say oral in infection, this is via the feces, and then the virus in the feces would be put into the water or food, and then it could be oral infection. For example, the people uh, often uh, love to eat GBA, and the, uh, this is the uh, infection which is transitory. Uh, but in the case of the hematological infection, when the uh, blood is infected, and then this blood, infected blood is, goes into the other people's bloodstream, then the, uh, this would be uh, chronic. And then this is considered to be associated with the uh, cancer. In the case of HPV, <coughs> in many cases, they are the infected, the, the, they are very much involved in the, uh, the uh, transmission at the time of birth. And then in the case of HCV, the, the many of them would have the chronic diseases and they would have the persistent infection. So regardless of the age, it is important to prevent the infection. And the, uh, Bromberg and the, the and the uh, Bromberg and Prince, the uh, had been awarded with the Nobel Prize since they uh, discovered the. Hepati the viral hepatitis, and then in the case of the HCV, in the, uh, people knew that the, uh, well, in the case of the HPV, many people knew that the, this would lead to the cancer, the onset of cancer, but when the HCV was the, uh, discovered, it was known that the percentage of the onset of cancer is much higher in the case of HCV than HPV. Then uh, this is the uh, this chart made by WHO, they divided the entire world into eight areas. About 53% of the, the uh, hepatic cancer is driven by HPV, and then only 25% for HCV, and other than that, they, uh, it is 25%. So we can safely say that about 70 to 80% of the cancer, hepatic cancer is the induced by the uh, HPV, uh, HPV or HCV. In the case of Japan, about 70% of the hepatic cancer is from the HCV, HVB. So it's different. In the case of Mongolia and the China and South Korea, the number of people who are infected by the HCV, the HPV would go into the stage of the onset of the, uh, the uh, HCV, uh, they uh, go into the stage of the onset of cancer. So it is important to prevent the HPV and HCV. And then uh, we have about uh, uh, 2 billion people who have the infection. And they, they, there are the 2 point, uh, 2, uh, 257 million people who have the uh, chronic infection. And in the case of the uh, HCV, the figure is 71 million. And in, uh, compared with the year 2000, it is about one third. 
And so this is a compilation of the epidemiology based on the simulation and in the very, some conditions we were able to draw this conclusion. And Japanese data is included here. And the figure for the, the B, type B is 3.9%. And the figure for the HCV is 1%. And then WHO has been eliminating the diseases, and the, the, they have been working hard, but the smallpox was the only one that they were successfully able to eradicate. They have been working on the measles and the also German measles and polio, but they were not able to completely eradicate this. But what they tried to do is to eradicate the viral hepatitis by the year 2030. In some countries, they have the goal of the eradicating the viral hepatitis the, by the year 2030. In the case of hepatitis B, the vaccines are quite effective, and the coverage rate of the va vaccine, in which if they would have three shots by the age of two, is the prevalent. And also in the case of hepatitis C, they have oral drug, in which, which they are almost completely able to eradicate virus. So the, uh, this is the data of Hiroshima University. If this the oral drug is administered, uh, the, the level of eradication or elimination of the virus is about 80, 98%. So many of the countries have been working on it. And so who is able to say that they are able to they were able to eradicate the uh, viral hepatitis for the uh, first time in the world well we don't know Japan is also trying to be number one and uh, I am the, uh, the have been working serving as a num the head of the epidemiologic epidemiological study team of MHLW so I'd like to share with you some data in 2000 the, we have about we had about 300 million people, but the, in 2012, it is about 2 million, including HCV and HVV. And then in 2015, it was about the 1.7 million. So as can be seen, we see the decrease of the number of people who are infected. So our countermeasures have been very effective. Well, not quite. Yeah, the Japanese measures for the hepatitis B had been uh, very much progressive. And uh, when uh, they are identified, and then uh, we start the, the verification of the virus uh, for the uh, blood products. And also, uh, we have been working on the elimination of the mother to child infection. And then the, uh, there have been uh, the government uh, subsidy for the uh, test for the infection. And then when they uh, they are identified uh, they, when they are identified as the the, uh, the patient then the, uh, the there are some sub subsidies for the treatment so uh, many it is the, the subject of envy of the entire world there have been clinical studies and epidemiological studies and based on that uh, various the policies have been made and we have been uh, conducting epidemiological studies and we have been making contribution in the last 20 years or so, as was mentioned, the, in, including the ACB and APB, and we have as many as 3 million people with the uh, viral, the, the viral the hepatitis, but if left as they are, uh, they would go into the status of the onset of the cancer. But the, the preference or the new incidence is very small, and also we have been participating in the investigation internationally, as can be seen, and compared with the rest of the world, in the case of Japan, there has been a sharp drop of the people with the infection, especially HCV. Uh, today, I'd like to speak about recent data, and uh, I'd like to share with you what we have been doing. Uh, this is about the mortality of by the hepatic the cancer. We have the death of about the 28,000 uh, 28, people. This has been rising. 
and the death of by by hepatic hepatic cancer the male is about two times higher than the females, and about six percent of sixty percent of them are HCV, twenty percent percent HIV, and about eighty percent by virus. So this is the situation in 2010. Moving on to the next graph, looking at the entire nation, uh, we understand the figures, but we try to look at each region. The, uh, this is the mapping of the mortality ratio of in the, by HCC uh, in the uh, urban area. Because of the uh, percent, higher percentage of young people, mortality is lower. So, but in the uh, remote area, it's higher because of the higher percentage of the uh, older, elder people. So, uh, if we map it without any adjustment, then the, uh, we would only uh, map the uh, area of aging. So, we decided to work on the adjustment. And then uh, in 1970s, it is almost red, yellow. So, there are some areas in Kyushu uh, which had red. But all in all, it is the uh, yellow. But in 2006 to 2010, we see red areas with higher preference in western part of Japan. And then in recent years, we see the decrease of the number of people who die of the uh, hepatic cancer. And then we are now reverting to the original standing. So looking at this, we have to work on the policy formation. And also, uh, we have to try to understand the effectiveness of the country measures in in different regions. This is the chart with different prefectures. This is Iwate prefecture for female and male. This is Tochigi, Hiroshima. We will understand the, uh, the, the country measures should be made for the HPV the V and HCV. And then uh, next is the uh, nationwide the investigation result of the viral positivity of hepatic the virus among pregnancy. In the case of HPV, uh, many of the infections take place at the time of delivery. So if we know that the pregnant woman is infected, then uh, infected, then we are able to have some countermeasures for the delivery. From 1983, Japan has been conducting the, uh, viral, the, the hepatitis test for all the uh, pregnant women. So it is possible to work on the countermeasures for that. So the, the purpose of this study is to know whether this is done for all the municipalities. Well, actually, we have 1,741, and it has been the 40% response rate, which is quite high. And amongst the 400,000, the, the, the ones who are infected with HIV is the 0 0.07, the, uh, and for HCV, it is 0.23%, and for HCV, 0.16%, which is quite low. In the case of APV, they, they have the vaccines and the, also the drugs so that the uh, mother-to-child infection uh, would be prevented. But the, because of the uh, infection in the womb, uh, the, there are some the babies who have been born with the infection the percentage of which stands at 0.005%. So when they would become the pre pregnant, we do believe that the, uh, the infection, mother to uh, baby infection, would be totally eliminated. And this shows the age group from 13 to 54. Uh, the, uh, in the case of HIV, the positivity the level of positivity is lower in the case of younger pregnancy. But in the case of HCV, for the first time, we were able to learn that there is a higher uh, prevalence among the uh, younger uh, pregnant women. And then uh, uh, next is the uh, new uh, de novo uh, infection. Yeah. The for HCV, the, we looked at the people who are uh, donating money, uh, donating uh, blood. So uh, the blood donators are considered to be healthy, and they are have volunteer spirit. So uh, we looked into uh, two million people, uh, and then 
and they will continue living for five years, and then they come back, and then we follow them for five years, and then the, there are 31 people who have been infected with HCV, and in terms of the prevalence, it is 1.54%. 0.4%. So that means that we continue the, uh, the seeing them uh, for the uh, hundred thousand people, and then 0.4% four of them or four people would have the infection. So uh, this is quite small. But looking at the region in Kiki area uh, compared with the uh, the different sex, uh, the male, so. The, we see the higher prevalence of the uh, type C uh, hepatitis. So this is the situation, the general the, this tendency uh, from the Hokkaido to Kyushu. The top one is the HPV, and the lower one is the CV. So the positivity is higher in the older age. The, for the Hokkaido and Kyushu, the, it's higher for HPV. And then HPV is higher in the western part of Japan. However, the HPV is only 1%, and in the, in the case of HPV, it is 0.8%. That's how we are looking at it. Then, as I just said, WHO is trying to eliminate this, the infection in 2030. At this moment, in the number of carriers in Japan in 2010 was 3 million. So we have been looking at it based on the national database. So this is done in combination with big data analysis. So the status of the, the liver would, the, would the, be converted from the, the hepatitis to the cirrhosis to the hepatic cancer. So uh, we used this mark of the data. And then this is 2035. In C, the HCV, it is 180,000. But in the case of HPV, the virus, the virus eliminating drug has not been uh, developed. So it is far from eradication. So we have to do more. Japan has been working on it for many, many years. So Japan should be the one uh, to, to say that we were able to eradicate the hepatitis B or and hepatitis C. So as was mentioned, we have the, the sharp the decrease of the number of infection in HCV. And this is the estimate by the WHO, and this is very much in line with our estimation. Finally, I'd like to speak about the uh, joint study of epidemiology with the international uh, institutions based on the accumulated expertise. We have been doing the international epidemiology study in Vietnam and Cambodia. The uh, prevalence is in the HPV is 20% uh, in Vietnam, and HCV uh, prevalence in Cambodia is high. And then uh, also in Africa, uh, there has been the collaboration with the CDC and HP, uh, WHO and also Hiroshima University. And so the Hiroshima University became the PI and conducted the uh, study in the entire nation of Cambodia. The WHO looked into the prevalence of the, uh, the child infection of HPV. Japan has already overcome this, the, this challenge, but in the case of many of the Asian countries, it is very difficult to have a nationwide epidemiology because of the lack of approvals. So uh, we have been working on it in the joint study. So based on the result of the study, the, it was the proven that the infection rate of the children under the age of five is 0.56 percent. So that means that they were able to say that the uh, level of infection is much lower uh, than they initially thought. So uh, we were quite happy that they, we were able to provide support for this activity in the, these two countries. Epidemiological studies uh, could be used for the uh, various diseases the, in order to have the priority decision uh, making. 
for the countermeasures and also to understand the, the medical uh, economics. Uh, it is important. And at the same time, the, uh, we are able to say that the Hiroshima University the, uh, would be able to provide training for many people. Uh, people who have been trained at the, univers the Hiroshima University would go back to their countries and they would come up with the design for the epidemiology kind of studies and they would ask for help from us. So the, this, I think, is the uh, one wing of our international collaboration. I'm very happy for that. That's all. Thank you very much.